previously. Right, so morning is upon us and I've just put away the treasure we managed to get from that little grinder area we're in. No Eskimo armor, unfortunately, but we did get some... Am I... F wow! I actually got a full stack of 99 lenses and I can start putting them in here. Did not expect that. Not for a long time. We went through so many creating those... Uh, what do you call them? The twins. Right, so I want to grab up some items before we go. Let's take a bunch of regular wood, a bunch of pale wood, a bunch of mahogany, a bunch of ebon wood, which we don't have that much of actually. Some shade wood, and some spooky wood. And that will do us for n uh, maybe some stone brick. Grey brick. And that will do us for now. We can always come back and get more if we need it. So let's. Here's the thing. With the last few things we've done, it's been really hectic. Go, go, go. Fighting the Pumpkin Moon. And we finally got the Pumpkin King trophy. And that's a huge weight off our mind. So I just want to take a nice, relaxing walk. And take off my shoes. This is how fast I walk now, look. And if we ever encounter anything that makes walking difficult for us, you see here, look. We can't walk back up here. Oh, we can. That's bizarre. But I don't like it, so I'm going to fix it. I'm going to beautify it up. This is going to be a nice, a bit of a slow episode, so to speak. So let's do that and then just hammer that one. Let's hammer that one too. And then hammer that one too. And then hammer it again, and again, and then destroy that one. Like that. In fact, destroy this one completely. I don't like it. I'm going to spend this much time on one single mound. Right, you may notice a few little acorny things around here. That's because if they're too close together, they'll never grow. So you might as well. But I, I like the look of them being there. It reminds me of um, the struggles of growing in the harsh winter. So we can walk down here. Oh. Now this, look, it's a bit of a pain. We could do some... In fact, let's take that on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some stairs down there and cut them in snow. So it's not quite a let's build, you see, but it is enough of a nice casual thing. And this is generally just a general beautification of the world. What's going on here? Why is there a piece of snow there? Probably from there's the Snow skimmers, snow skimmers, <laughs> snow skimmers, probably from the Frost Legion. I will right, we'll use stone brick for this, and we'll just make a nice casual staircase. In fact, we'll start it here. Rather than a two thick staircase, we'll make it a one thick, not a steep, but not quite a gradual descent, is it? What I want to do actually is get some ice. Not a great deal, but we can dig it here because it doesn't look very good. Like that. I'm not going to do huge beautification like, oh, I don't like how this looks. It's more of like an ease of access thing. Under here, and it looks like icicles hanging down from this. And then snow can just very easily just cover the top of this and it won't look bizarre at all. Ham this down. It's like a gradual slope like that. So now you can see it looks like there was once some kind of stairway here that has now been completely snowed over. So it kind of goes with the aesthetic of it. Could do with a bit more work. You gotta, what you got to do is you got to mix and match. You see, mix and match, make things look good. So we'll stick a bit of this shade wood. And it's sort of in the way, but you, you walk over it, you see. In fact, I like that. Let's make a workbench. We can have a portable workbench with us to craft stuff on the fly. Shade wood wall. And I want to put it like every couple of steps or something. So what I do is there's once a thing here that is now buried behind this. It'd be a lot easier if it wasn't snowing. You can see what I'm doing.
There we go, right. So, uh, although it's pretty difficult to see, it looks like there's some posts buried there like that. Now we can dig up our thing and throw away that one piece of shaded wall. I'm pretty much ready to carry on, although then we have our next issue, which is this giant gap here, so we can build a very quaint makeshift bridge over it. Again, we'll probably make it out of stone, because, well, wood and snow is not like the best looking thing. Unfortunately, we are going to have to get rid of a bunch of this. And then maybe dig out... I don't like flying stuff. I don't like random flying blocks. So let's get rid of this. Now at some point we'll kind of want access down here, I think. So should I make a rickety bridge? No, I don't want a rickety bridge. Right, let's get the old stone brick on. So very basically, let's find, I think, from this point would be good. I'm going to have to figure out some way of getting back down there. Although, do I ever want to really go to it? The only reason I go down there is to get into the Souls of Night area, but I don't think I'll, I'll ever need them ever again. When doing bridges and stuff, I like to have them sort of impacted into something, so it looks like they're supported by being wedged quite firmly, or maybe even looking like they were originally bigger, and over time snow has accumulated. I don't need a white bench, I need a sawmill craft up a bunch of wooden beams, what they're called. Unfortunately, you can't make different colours of them. I know that seems like a lot, but who knows how much stuff we're going to build. And if I end up just doing rambling, going on, and annoying you, I may put a fast forward on. Ooh, that's, good. that's a great idea. If we fill it with snow, and then we can flatten the snow down. And then once you flatten it, you see, we won't get the bouncy, uppy downy stuff, but you still get this sort of effect that it has these raised areas, but the bits in between are just filled with snow. How often are we ever going to walk over here? I don't know. But if we ever do, at least it looks nice. And essentially, this could always be used by players who don't actually have wings. I should have really brought some torches with me, and then I can torch this place up and make it look nice. Look at all that! Oh! <gasps> Eskimo armor! Yes! We got one! We got one! Right. That's right. Let's go home. Oh, man. I can't believe we've got... Finally! An Eskimo hood! Let's pop that on here. You just need his pants now. Uh, well, we want to get out a bunch of torches, we'll take a full stack of 99 and extras. So much stuff to put away, mainly armour and crap. Right, we've got a full set, I think, of frost armour from that, which is interesting because we already have a full set. Oh uh, no, we have um, duplicate breastplates. Fair enough. And a hell, and put away the icy biome key. We could make so many biome keys now, but the thing is, they're useless to us. They, there are no biome chests left in this world. We would have to go to a different world to do this, and that's just not gonna happen. Let's put some torches. Let's sort this out a little bit better. In fact, let's just get rid of a bunch of this crap in general. There we go, I'm liking that, it's a bit better. So let's go for a walk over to where we were. That should be a lot nicer to look at. And I kind of want to have torches. Can I attach torches to trees? Oh, you can. Well, I'm going to come back at some point and make that look a lot nicer. I wasn't awake, I could attach torches to trees. So let's pop one on there like that, and then pop one on here like this. And will it allow us to pop it on? Uh, I don't like it. Give it back. Sort that out. Stop it looking so ugly. And you can see when the icicles forming already, they'll get bigger and better. And then, 
what I wanted look, is to put these, if it will let me. Oh, and it pops them up. Fair enough, we'll flatten it back down. And we can do what I originally said I was going to do. With these, the wooden beams. Huh, it weren't attached to the... That's bizarre. Okay, fine. Right, we'll, I'll figure this out off camera. Go away, wolves. Jeez. Right, so now again, we've got a nice little walk up here. It looks a little bit ugly, but it's walkable. Well, this bit isn't. Let's fix that. Probably have the snow on the hot bar since we're in a snow biome. That's walkable. This is all walkable. It's all fine. I'm happy with that. Here, we could build another tiny little staircase. It would be a very small one. And we never need to go down there. That's just where lava is from that one time I messed up and dropped lava everywhere. Hmm, this whole area, actually, could probably do with a good old trimming down. But you know what? Because the staircase is indoors, look like at this, this is perfect. Just slope it down. Because this is indoors, I don't think you could need to put snow covering it. You put a bit, a bit of snow on it. Don't feel the need to go crazy with covering something in snow. Sometimes just one or two bits is fine. There you go, looks fine. Looks a bit of snow's been tread on it, but it's not all completely covered. <sighs> I'm liking this, and then we get to this area, which is unfortunate because it's kind of in the way and there's no... How is this not turned off? Is that turned off? That's turned off, okay. There's not much I can do about this, because just because of how it is. If I build a staircase over it, then I can't get into it. Well, look who it is. Go away, you. No one cares about you. I'll take your pants, though. Ha-ha! <laughs> pants. This seems very... Ah, here's a bit. Look. Look at this. Let's just... Go like that. And fill in. It's a lot easier to tear something down and then quickly rebuild it than it is to really carefully plan each and every single step along the way. Now, I personally like the look of slopes. Don't feel as though you have to make slopes. Occasionally, sometimes it looks good to have a bit sticking out and look a bit awkward and, and lumpy. I'm a big fan of stuff looking natural. Now, again, we've got more ice here. I don't like this area purely because some bits are flattened. It looks a bit strange. Just go like that. Looks better already. I think I may have hammered that at some point, Max. No. Let's put a snow block in there. It was just completely missing one. Now, there's somebody over here causing me some trouble. Now we're eventually gonna get to like sort of bigger gaps and stuff. My my main issue of this was I didn't want loads of gaps. Now here, I can kind of understand that being tricky to get up. It is Somebody's house area, essentially. Fine, I'm happy with that. This again is the Fortress of the Damned. I'm not too fussed that this looks awkward to get up and out of, because it's supposed to be. It's a fortress. People build these in inaccessible areas so that you don't get in the way. Whoa! Carried on the wings of an angel. Thanks in part mostly to the ravens that are attacking. So again, if you see the snow here, look, I haven't gone crazy with it. I just made it look as though it was sort of blusteringly blowed up against the wall and that's how it stayed. So I'm happy with that. Here is somewhere I wanted to build a bridge. This is one of our original poles when we used to get across here so long, long ago. And then it takes us into the hallowed. So, if I should just knock that down a bit, we can keep this as our original stone wall, and then... Hmm, I like the waterfall. I made this waterfall deliberately go like that. Another ice frozen key mold. 
Yeah, I like the look of it going like that. How am I going to build a bridge around here? 